if you're looking for the most easiest and mouth-watering yummiest ever delicious recipe for your fried rice you got it here so in this video i'm going to be taking you across the steps i do to get this wonderfully looking delicious fried rice here i have my ingredients i have my onion i love a lot of onion in my fried rice in particular so here we have some red onion one red onion and one white onion sliced and here i have my protein of choice you can use any protein but today i'm going with some regular chicken and also some turkey so we have the onion already sliced or chopped and i have some chili pepper i have some thyme i have some white pepper ginger and garlic all of this is to season the chicken and guys remember the way you season your chicken is the way it's going to tell in your chicken stock and we want that stock to be really really like really seasoned to give us that perfect taste of fried rice so we have the chicken stock or the no cube we have some salt a little bit of black pepper now let's go ahead and season our protein i'm just going to add all of the ingredients like i mentioned salt seasoning cubes some thyme white pepper curry powder yeah just make sure that you add like good amount that way your chicken is properly seasoned and then it's going to also affect how good your stock is <laughs> Yeah, so after adding all the ingredients just go ahead to properly make sure that all the ingredients are well combined with the chicken and then we allow that to cook in its own juice we don't add any water at this point you just allow it to cook for a few minutes that way the ingredients like the chicken will sweat out its own water we are going ahead to prep our vegetables you know there is no fried rice without vegetables right i love a lot of bell peppers in my fried rice some green beans some carrot sometimes i add peas but i don't like i'm not a lover of peas so i prefer to go with green beans some more onion yeah so i'm just gonna get this ready while the chicken is cooking the chicken has been cooking for a couple of minutes and as you can see the it's produced its own water right now i'm just gonna cover it up with more water so it can cook to the right consistency that i want we are not going to put a lot of water just enough water because we want that stock to be very rich guys so the water is just going to be at like level top just cover the chicken and then that will be it and from time to time we are going to be checking because we are cooking turkey and chicken separately i have to make sure that that um, the chicken or the turkey doesn't get too done too cooked so i'll be checking so to make sure yeah So since we adjusted the amount of water, I'm just going to also adjust the seasoning. I'm going in with some salt and some added seasoning cubes and taste to make sure because we don't want our chicken or our stock to be tasteless, right? Yeah, so on this other corner, I'm prepping my vegetables, cutting my green beans, chopping my carrots and my bell peppers and all that. Yeah, the other knife was very small and was taking time, so I had to exchange it for a bigger knife guys please don't laugh at my chopping skills like my knife skills are really really bad but then again it's better to be safe than sorry right you don't want to injure yourself yeah anyways checking the chicken just checking to see how it's going and at this point the turkey is cooked 
correctly like perfectly but the chicken since it was hard chicken it's still a little bit tough so we're going to take out the turkey so it doesn't get overcooked and then we leave the chicken to cook again for some few minutes before taking everything off so the chicken is ready and uh, I'm just gonna go in ahead to strain the stock. We don't want all the nyama nyama that came out, like all the excess onion and whatever in the in the stock, right? So we want to strain that stock to make sure that the stock is really, really like watery. That way, it's gonna make our rice even better. Yeah, and I'm just pressing it to make sure that I take out all of the juice from that stock. We don't want everything to be lost because this is like gold <laughs> when it comes to fried rice yeah everything is getting is going as planned now we have the rice i usually i would always prefer that you go with parboiled rice and so this is the rice i'm going with uncle ben's i think it's uncle ben's or uncle bob and another thing is you make sure you wash your rice like several times with warm water wash it wash it wash it wash it for like 10 times if possible till the water runs clear because if you wash it and you don't wash it properly then the rice is going to be sticky and we don't want sticky fried rice right so we want to make sure that we take off all the starch from the rice that's why you have to wash it lots of times to make sure the water is clear so we're going ahead to put the the chicken stock into the pot a clean pot like you saw and i'm just going in with more curry because this fried rice has curry curry gives it that color right so you go with more curry spice and then you add a little bit of pepper if you want pepper so i'm going i'm not going to add pepper because i have a baby but you add every other spices like what we used for the chicken stock every other thing you just add to the right consistency and i'm going in with more onion guys you remember i told you i love onion right so i'm going in with more onion and then we're just going to let this simmer for a couple of minutes before going on to add our rice that has strained also yeah so while the stock is boiling these are my vegetables i'm just going to go ahead and start frying the vegetables i have my sweet corn and every other thing is ready i also have like some celery added i think you saw it there now that the stock is cooking what is going to go on and add the rice again we don't want too much water because this rice is not going to be overly cooked it's just going to be like 75 to 80 percent cooked because again we are going to fry it with the vegetables yeah there are other there are many other ways to make this fried rice but i'm going to be showing you like the easiest way that i that i do my fried rice when i don't want stress so as you can see the water is not too much but the water is really rich so we're just going to let this cook and it's not going to be cooking with the water it's going to be cooking with the heat so we're going to be covering it with aluminum foil right now i think the curry is not enough so i'm going to go in with a little bit more um, curry because I want that curry color to be popping. You know, I want the rice to have that popping color. So I've added a little bit curry and I'm just gonna stir, 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 check for all seasoning, make sure the seasoning is perfect before you cover it to cook. right now everything i've tested for everything and everything is okay i'm gonna cover this with some aluminium foil and we'll turn the heat to a very low heat because we don't want the water to dry quickly we want the rice to get cooked from the heat that is contained in the pot so i'm gonna turn the heat to the lowest not not the lowest but like to two we're just going to be like simmering slowly yeah okay while the, the rice is cooking on the other cooker we are gonna go ahead to fry our veggies starting with pouring some oil this oil i use this oil to fry fish 
and i want to use this oil because it already has like that fish um, aroma right so it's going to spice up the veggies a little bit the oil was too much so i had to even drain some yes yeah, so we're going to go ahead to saute our onions first make sure the onion is nicely fragrant and translucent then we go ahead to add the other veggies subsequently as you will be seeing if you would also like to add like shrimps or some liver or just anything that you want to add at this point or you want to fry you have to fry it first before going ahead to fry the veggies like this fried rice that i'm making is like low budget fried rice but usually you can also add some shrimp or some added beef or liver just to make your fried rice like more more yummy So also do not forget to spice up your, your vegetables a little just go in with the regular um, ingredients like a little bit of white pepper a little bit of salt a little bit of seasoning a little bit of ginger and garlic and thyme and just like any um, regular season that you have for veggies this is like an all-purpose all seasoning for both meat and veggies i'm going to be adding a little bit of that so we just want everything that we incorporate into our fried rice to be seasoned you know that way nothing is going to be lacking in um or coming short of seasoning yeah i feel like that also has an effect on how your fried rice turns out so we just add everything and look at how the veggies are popping the colors are popping we've got the different colors red yellow oh i love this <laughs> whenever i do this with fried rice i love like the different display of colors i love colors in general so yeah <music> about 20 25 minutes and i'm about to check on the rice now at this point the rice is the water in the rice is dry and it's cooked to the way i want it so yeah we are just gonna set this aside and then we continue making our chicken oh sorry our vegetables <music> is looking good at this point we're just gonna go ahead to pour everything into the rice so this is one way of making your fried rice but another way if you have time on your hands is to fry it gradually like you take a little portion of the rice and you fry it with the vegetables take a little portion and you fry it yeah so that, that method it's also really good but it's really really time consuming so if you want something easier but this is another way you can do it and it's still going to give you excellent excellent fried rice yes yeah, so you have it guys this is how i make my fried rice as you can see everything is looking good i know this fried rice is a lot this is a big pot of rice again because it's really delicious so in my house we tend to eat it like finish it very fast and it's gonna last for us for a couple of days more so i always have friends who would always want me to keep, leave some for them so i make like a little bit more so i can share with like my friends so yeah you can see it's looking good looking yummy yummy again like i said you can always add more protein add more liver or whatever you want yeah and there you have it guys so i'm going to be pairing this with some chicken and also some salad and it was very very delicious guys trust me very very delicious so i hope you enjoyed watching this video guys i hope so if you did please give it a thumbs up please share with your loved ones and you can save it and also let me know if you're going to try this recipe also let me know how you make your own fried rice so i can learn from you as well until you see me on my next video thank you so much for sticking with me bye